How's it going everybody? Just got done doing the Latino Arts Fair this past weekend and it was a great show. I'm just going to give a quick little overview of this. If you guys have had a chance, please check out my blog. Um, there's, there's a link in the description below, but here is the actual address you guys can go to. So in a nutshell, it was a great show. I had a chance to be able to connect with a lot of people that I normally wouldn't. I was really outside of my wheelhouse in a lot of ways, never mind the fact that it was outdoors and it was with, you know, displaying my artwork to a bunch of people that I probably normally would never get a chance to interact with. So there were so many really good things that came from it. I mean, I ended up with I ended up with so much that I didn't really anticipate, which, you know, it's it's really crazy. A lot of times and maybe those of you that are artists can relate to this. You end up like creating stuff and working toward a specific sort of group of people that you want to show your stuff to and whenever you kind of break away from that and you get input from other people that are maybe not necessarily into sci-fi fantasy or whatever the genre is you work in you get some really unique reactions and I actually spent most of that day talking to people about the techniques I used what and how I came about getting my art education a lot of things that I don't I don't go in depth with as much as I'd like or even get asked to go in depth as much at shows like Comic Con or any anime shows or things like that. So this was really pretty cool. It's a combination of a car show, a lowrider car show with an art festival. The art festival also had tents set up for the vendors, the artists, and it also had like a stage toward one side it was held in a parking lot area and it was really the weather was really nice wasn't overly hot it was a really good time there was so much going on in kansas city that weekend though between the renaissance festival the unplaza art fair the plaza art fair and another urban arts sort of thing that was going on in the missouri side of kansas city so there was a lot going on this weekend but there was still a really good amount of attendance that happened out there so you know i I'm a sucker for lowriders and there was a heck of a lot of them out there. This is just a small example of the ones that I was able to get some shots of. I wasn't able to leave my tent a whole heck of a lot. I just kind of circled around where my area was and interacted with people there. But the really great part about the show, I think, and you know, when I, I've had a few days to kind of soak it in and like think about it, it's an, it, you know what, it's one of those shows that it's absolutely needed. You know, um, I've said this before in other, in other things I've recorded. We live in some really trying times. And this is not to get political. This is not to get anything like that. But I think the thing that really made me happiest was being able to look out and see just this wide spectrum of colors on people's skin. Everybody was getting along. Everyone was having fun. Everyone was having just a good time talking, walking around, eating food, checking out the load riders, the artwork, all of that. And that that really did me a lot of good. I know that sometimes when you're a creative person, or maybe even just somebody who just, you know, will bring a lot of the bearing of what happens in the world you know internally for yourself things can seem really bleak they can seem really uh, really bad and I'm actually recording this right now after having just gotten some news that was uh, not the greatest um, not about me but just uh, having to deal with a friend an old friend and so it really kind of put me in perspective on what I was doing and it, whether or not I even wanted to record this tonight because I didn't feel that I'd really be in the right mindset and emotional uh, pathway to, to do it. But at the same time, you know, that's, uh, that's the thing about life is that even when you get fed those moments that are, you know, continually going downward at some point, you hope the ride will come right back up. And the Latino Arts Fair was definitely a high point for me. I say that because, as many of you know, if you read my blog and have followed other stuff, especially my show schedules, I made this... 
<laughs> dementedly grandeur thought that I was not, I was once again going to disappear off the face of the earth and not do any shows for the foreseeable future. I have failed miserably at that <laughs> because not for the want of not, you know, it's not that I didn't want to do the shows. I just, I hadn't had the time to really explore new, you know, facets and avenues, substrates and things that I wanted to put out there. I've got a new line of illustrations that are coming out. I've got a lot of things in the works, but I want to finish them up. I want to get them out there so that that way I can, you know, make a living off of this and bring new stories and stuff that I want to tell out there. So yeah, it does get a little bit intimidating when, you know, I'm consistently, you know, saying I'm, I'm going to stop, but then at the same time, really good show opportunities come up. And even if they're not the most lucrative shows, they can still be rewarding and being around people and all of that sort of stuff that will just reinvigorate what I, you know, what I'm lacking, which is sometimes just that, that vital energy that allows me to want to create. So I don't really have a whole bunch more that I could add about it that I haven't already said on the blog that you guys can read. So thank you guys for all of you, all of you that reached out to me after the show, emailed me, messaged me, all that stuff. Thank you very much. That absolutely made it for me. I. I've met a lot of really cool people. I got to talk about some of my favorite things from cartoons and animation to music to, you know, just you name it. And it was just really cool. And I learned a lot, too. One of the things that ne I never get tired of, and it's probably the biggest thing that really attracts me back to doing shows, is that I always enjoy meeting artists, older, younger, whatever, because I always find out about how somebody else you know, how they traverse this path to go and try and be a creative person. And I never get tired of that. So this was definitely up there for me. I mean, I'm, I'm really happy I, I went. I didn't really have, it wasn't that I had second thoughts about doing the show. I just, whenever I put myself out there, and it's, it's really strange. A friend of mine had mentioned this, you know, something along, and I'm paraphrasing here. Forgive me, Jeremy, if I'm getting the wording wrong. But it was something along the line of like, you know, that, that, he felt he wouldn't be able to do what I did. And he's not the first person that's told me this sort of thing. Truth is, is that every single time I go and do a show, it's absolutely terrifying. And the thing is, is because you end up living up to this, there's this weird sort of thing that exists where when people are creative, it's almost like if you're at a show or you're doing this sort of thing that, yo, you must be making a lot of money. You must be an expert at what you do, all of these sort of things. Let me show you something. And this has nothing to do with a Latino art show or any other show. I just want to show you something that happened to me today. You see what's on the screen right now? This was supposed to have been a figurine, a printed out figurine. It's not. It is far, far, far from that. What it is is a mess. And I normally try really hard whenever I'm learning things like 3D or whatever to experiment as much as possible. And failure is absolutely key to developing as an artist but that's just a snippet of a shot of something ugly that can happen behind the scenes when you're creative and people think that we don't struggle or that we don't go through all these problems and i'm not talking about the cliched i'm a tortured artist kind of bullcrap no i'm talking about truly getting mad at things like when your printer won't print before a show when you can't afford to get art supplies when your art supplies have accidentally dried up on you or whatever the case might be there's a ton of things we go through that allow us to put the stuff out there that you guys will see it shows because that's the very best we're putting out there what we see on our portfolios if i actually let people look at my sketchbooks they would wonder if my hands work because there are days when i have completely let go of human anatomy and how to render it so anyway on that note if you guys get a chance please go to the latino arts festival this next year i do believe she's going to keep on holding it. the lady in charge of this now that i said she is deanna munoz you can check out her website here it's also in the show notes and if you get a chance go to the show i'm certain there's bigger and better things for the show that are going to be coming and it was really cool to see everybody that did show up there i am ever grateful i took the chance and got out there and did it even though i had some you know internal withdrawals where i was like oh man i don't know i you know but it's like any other art show there's a beautiful community of people there 
And from a cultural standpoint, it certainly made my heart sing. And I'm very grateful that a show like that is happening in Kansas City. So with that, I'll let you guys go. And I'm going to get back to work on some stuff that I need to do. Not the least of which is editing this video quickly before I head off to sleep.